Fish are a significant part of our food chains in nearly every part of our world. Many communities even depend on commercial fishing as a source of income, employment, and nutrition. Unfortunately, overfishing is also one of the most significant causes of declines in marine life populations. In fact, did you know that over 60% of fish stocks are fully fished? And almost 30% of commercial fish stocks are overfished too. What is overfishing and why is this such a big problem? Overfishing means that fish are being caught at a faster rate than they can multiply and naturally repopulate, which limits their ability to maintain healthy population numbers. As a result, the fish become underpopulated in that fishing area. How is this done? Modern fishing gear and technology has allowed us to harvest massive amounts of fish relatively quickly. Another major factor includes a growing global population, leading to an increased demand for seafood. Over the past 40 years, marine species have seen a decrease of 39% due to overfishing. And large fish are usually the first to go. They live a long time but are usually slow to repopulate, making it hard to rebuild their fish populations. For example, many of the favorite seafoods in North America, like cod, snapper, and sea bass, have these traits. It also damages the food web. When bigger fish are no longer found in an area, fishermen typically move on to smaller species like sardines or anchovies. This is known as fishing down the food web. These species are often important prey for other animals, so it creates an imbalance and their removal can affect the entire marine food chain. It also harms ecosystems. Coral reefs are particularly affected. For example, many fish eat the algae that keep the coral reefs clean and thriving. In areas where these fish have been overfished, the algae tend to overgrow, which kills the corals and negatively impacts the many species that call the reef home. There are also bycatch dangers. This is when other marine animals are accidentally caught in massive nets while fishing for a different animal. Turtles, dolphins, and whales are often the biggest victims of bycatch. It also threatens the billions of people around the world who rely on seafood as a key source of protein. Not to mention the millions of people that rely on fishing as their principal livelihood. It can result in loss of employment for around 60 million people who work directly and indirectly for the fishing industry. Strengthen the management of fisheries. For example, some fisheries are trying to manage their fish populations by enforcing a catch limit and gear restrictions, introducing physical boundaries that limit where fishers can fish, and by learning from our indigenous communities who practice responsible fishing practices to ensure future generations can live off the ocean resources. Preventing illegal fishing would also greatly help to protect marine species. Reducing bycatch is another helpful step. Many fishermen are working to improve the design of fishing gear to decrease the risk of this. For example, turtle exclusion devices are fitted to trawl nets and open up if a turtle gets caught in them, allowing the turtle to escape. Overfishing is a global problem, and it's causing many fish populations to decline and harm their ocean ecosystems. But thankfully, it doesn't have to continue this way. As the demand for seafood continues to grow, it's important that we significantly reduce overfishing altogether. We have a responsibility to take care of our oceans in this way to guarantee the health and safety of marine life and for humans. So be responsible and always be careful what you fish for.